Hey guys, today I'm gonna teach you how you can create a grid in mesh poster design like this in Inkscape. So let's get started. First, open your Inkscape, pick up your rectangle tool, and keep in mind that this option is uh, activated. Snap to paste border, and just create a rectangle out of this. After creating a rectangle, just select your grid in mesh tool, and I will create a gradient out of that. Okay. After creating this, keep in mind you can only change the color of the gradient on these nodes these rectangle nodes which are placed as a diamond here okay so i will make the color of this i will select this node and make this blue like this like this node make this blue i will do this for all the nodes here okay you can go with any color you want i'm going with this as an example i just wanted to make a tutorial on how to use this grid in mesh and create some really cool designs yes this works now what i'm going to do is to create more nodes you just need to double click anywhere on the sides of this the object you created here so i will just double click here i will just double click here i will double click here and i will double click here i guess this works i will select this node and i will make it pink okay i will go with this color again i will select this so keep in mind you can change the intensity of this by dragging this here and there the nodes if you want you can create it much more or much lower okay it depends on you you can customize it like you want i will make this one light blue I guess this works. So now I will just you can drag it here like you want. It depends on you how you want it. I will make it like this. Just create a unique design like you want. I guess this looks good. I will go with this one. It will be different every time you do just depends on how you make it now i will just pick up my text tool and just type post design okay now the font i'm going to go with will be go data the weight will be heavy and click apply i'll just select the text make it white just make it pick like this now i will lower the just click on the text tool again select all these text i will lower the distance between them okay we'll make it four okay it's a vertical one it was in horizontal i will make it 10 okay this works i guess Okay, now I will first I will pick up my rectangle tool again and I will change my paragraph justification to left side. Okay. What I'm going to do is just again type new here. Again pick up my font for data. The weight will be medium this time. Click apply and i am just going to make it white select these two pick up my align menu uh, keep in mind that relative to last selected is is oh, just selected here okay relative to last selected just click on this icon now align left edges yes this works so i will just increase its size a little bit more it was too smaller okay just like these two just align left edges again okay now after doing this i will just select this and go to object or go to part object to part now you can see it is a group i will ungroup it by ctrl shift g or just clicking this icon now just get a rectangle click it a rectangle like this here 
just keep in mind the size you want i will just go with this this works for me i will convert it to part object to part now just double click it get the rotation handle hold control and just make it align to 45 degree you can go with anything you want and i will just go with this after going with this i will just just duplicate it control d and after duplicating it i will just select this select this background p and go to part and just go to uh just go to exclusion okay Okay, I will control set. Select this again. Go to part. Go to difference. Okay. Now I will again duplicate this. This time I will make electric in T. I guess T. Select these two. Go to part. Go to difference again. Yes, this works again. I will duplicate it. Control D. And again. I will go with E this time, okay. Select, select E, go to part. Oh, I will just, just keep in mind, I will just duplicate this again. E, duplicate E again, select E, then select this bar, go to part and clip it, or oh, go to object, clip and set. After setting it up, I will just change its color, okay. I will make it this same color. I used here okay I'll make it look like it again again I will select this just make any here I will select these two or oh, just duplicate and okay like this like this bar again go to object clip set change its color I will make it pink and guess guys we are done with this so it was just a simple introduction so how you can use gradient mesh and create awesome posters designs like this so thank you guys for watching like comment and subscribe and see you guys again bye